In this video, I want to take you guys through the possibility of a next-gen Nintendo platform. Obviously, that'll happen at some point, but the Nintendo Switch is still very much breathing life. But how about a Nintendo Switch Pro or extending the life of the Switch? That is entirely a possibility as well, especially with a PlayStation 5 and Series X on the horizon. Azure Striker Gunvolt 3, a action platformer, has been announced for the Switch, and a new Monster Hunter game could be headed to the Switch as well. We'll talk that at the end of this video. But first up, it's pretty exciting times in gaming in general with the Xbox Series. Series X and PlayStation 5 on the horizon. Nintendo isn't slacking around either. While they don't have a new console announced, they've got a stacked lineup of games. And on top of that, you look at the possibilities of them releasing a new platform, an upgraded version of the Switch. That could be pretty cool as well. The question was first answered by Nintendo's representative director and president, Shuntaro Furukawa, noting our current console, the Nintendo Switch, is living its fourth year now, but its popularity is still increasing. We believe there are two factors behind this. First, there's how we have two hardware with different characteristics the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch Lite. The other reason is the fact we only have the Nintendo Switch as a platform so we can focus all of our firm's development resources to make software for it. We want to make the most out of these factors and extend the Nintendo Switch's life cycle as much as we can. Ko Shiota, uh, one of the Nintendo's senior executive officers, added the following on top of that, noting our consoles are based on how to make fun software for our customers rather than high specs. And let me cut in for a second. That has always been the imperative with the Nintendo Switch. Yes, it does lack behind on power, comparatively speaking, to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. But you look at the software itself, the game lineup is absolutely enormous and filled with great titles that, yes, they might not accentuate on a technical level, but at a gameplay level, they're incredibly strong. And a lot of those games, just with the art style that they implement, they still look very visually impressive. Impressive. Nintendo Switch can be played on both TV or on the console screen itself, so compared to the other consoles, customers get more occasions to play. New ways for game machines to interact with the customers' daily lives have been discovered thanks to the Nintendo Switch. We see that all the time on social media, with customers sharing videos of their families and children all playing together. It made us realize once again the value of our game console. We will keep all of this in mind when thinking about how to develop our consoles in the future. So definitely, it seems like they're open to the idea of the Nintendo Switch having another upgrade and and a Switch Pro becoming a reality, I think that would be pretty cool to see. Uh I'm not a big fan of dividing the user base, so obviously I don't like having exclusive games. I know they did that with the Nintendo 3DS, with the new Nintendo 3DS, and then you had games that were exclusive on that platform. Few games, but they still definitely existed. With the Nintendo Switch, I would like parity and games to be released on all platforms, but if you do want to upgrade them a little bit, I think that would be pretty cool to see. But ultimately, at some point, Nintendo will release another platform. I just think the Switch has a lot of legs on it still to go. But I also believe that they find found a winner with the model of the Nintendo Switch and how it's presented. I just think marketing-wise, it's awesome. And I think going forward, you should just call it... I, I wouldn't be against calling it the Switch 2, honestly. Maybe you're taking something out of Sony's playbook with the simplistic naming, but I think the Switch is a winner of a formula. And Switch 2, I think, would go over really well with people. So, hey, just a food for thought. Moving on from that, Azure Striker Gunvolt 3 has been announced for the Nintendo Switch. Coming from KG Inafune, how did you like Gunvolt 3? It's been about out for about four years. It's been about a it's been about four years since the previous game's release, that's what I needed to know, and I'm delighted to bring you this announcement for the third Gunvolt game today. Did you know that I was involved in the Gunvolt series? Since the beginning, I have worked on the series with Inti Creates as the series' action supervisor, and I will be continuing that role with this new title as well. And as action supervisor, it is my job to help shape the gameplay together with director Su uh, Suda. We want to craft an exciting game filled with ultra-refined action and deliver something we believe players will enjoy. They noted KG Inafune and Inti Create presents the latest game in the Gunvolt series. We are pleased to announce Azure Striker Gunvolt 3 here today. We have only just begun the development for the game, but we will update fans with new information on the game as soon as possible. Please look forward to future announcements. Pretty cool to hear. Striker Gunvolt was pretty good on the Nintendo Switch. You can check out the double pack. Pretty good buy there. Um, and Gunvolt 3 happening. Cool to see games like this continue to persist and be popular enough to warrant more game release. And one thing I want to note, Monster Hunter World, World will not be coming to the Nintendo Switch. However, there was a note made. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate is one of the best series in this series and well worth but there was something very interesting noted as far as another Monster Hunter World game, maybe for a younger audience. A question was broached to Capcom. I want to inquire about plans for Monster Hunter World on the Switch. Also, I hope that you have plans to sell a Monster Hunter game that middle and high school kids can enjoy. The answer was, we currently have no plans to release World on the Switch. We do have plans for another Monster Hunter game that middle and high school kids can play and enjoy that you can look forward to. Now, if you don't know, there was a Monster Hunter game, I believe Monster Hunter Stories or something like that on the Nintendo 3DS, and that had a much more charming art style. Not much more cartoony, but a pretty good game nonetheless from all accounts. 
So something like that could be on its way to the Switch. Who knows? I imagine it is a Switch game. Of course, we do have a Monster Hunter game on the Switch, and that was received really well as well. Whatever the case may be, something to look forward to as well. But that's going to conclude this video. Again, as far as Switch goes, it's going to be here for a while, and a future models are definitely possible. Azure Striker Gunvolt 3 has been announced, and a new Monster Hunter game could be headed to the Switch. That's going to wrap up this one. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.